Here's what I've learned from the story of Elizabeth Holmes from Theranos. She was an ambitious girl who dropped out of Stanford after her second year because she had this great idea to revolutionize blood testing with just one drop of blood. And without listening to her female professor, she thought that she could prove her wrong and prove science wrong. And her ambition clouded her judgments. And she was also 19, so she didn't know much. I could have been Elizabeth Holmes because I was that very young, naive, ambitious girl who thinks she could change the world and defy science as well. But the professor, who seemingly was the bitter older person, was actually telling her something she should have listened to. Because being a female in science is very hard and you have to do a lot of work just to prove that you did it alone. And then maybe you can even think of changing it is. And there's just so many technical challenges just to take that one drop of blood and make all these tests with it. And now, after 20 years of her starting that company, it is still not possible just to use one drop of blood to test all of these tests. I remember back in first or second year university, someone was telling me about this. And I was like, how is that even possible? Maybe all the things I've learned about science in school is so outdated that... I'm not even catching up to Silicon Valley. And two years later, we found out that her company went bankrupt and it blew up and now she's going to jail for 11 years. But I also have a lot of sympathy for her because she's not the um, one who is entirely guilty. There were lots of factors and a lot of turning points that led to her ultimate demise. First, she was involved with a much older man at 18 like this guy Sunni, who is 18 years older than her, who has been looming around and trying to manipulate her, and who is also very creepy in trying to invent her. He forced her to drink the green juice, he lied to her about how people in the company doesn't respect her, and how they have to do um, corporate espionage just to get by. This paranoia became more and more toxic, and the lies built up more. And there were many points where she could have just called it quits and just, you know, said, I can't do it and just close the company. People would have been mad at that time, but they would understand because startups do fail. But she was so persistent on trying to make something that innately cannot work to work. It led to her crazy change of voice, creating this persona who is not even her. And there's also that beauty of just enjoying youth as youth and not having to change the world or whatever. I think in a lot of ways, if she got fired from her own company when they found out all of these things blew up, that would have saved her a lifetime. But she pursued it and she made the mistake of finally putting Sunny on the board um, as her co-COO. And he was an incredibly insecure man who thought that he was great because he got an exit early before the dot-com bubble crash. And he had zero knowledge in biology or chemistry and decided that he could run one. I think it's a great story to learn for young ambitious girls because there's not too much to prove, you know? And now... A lot of things have been taken away from her because now that she no longer pursue anything of ambition and just lives her life, find a new boyfriend and have two kids with him, um, but she can't even enjoy it because she's going to jail for 11 years. And at the end of the day, isn't life supposed to be enjoyed?